Cheers. get your thoughts. Well, what kind of relationship is the president-elect likely to have with Boris Johnson? The UK Prime Minister said today he was looking forward to working with Mr Biden on climate change as well as international trade and security. But as our diplomatic correspondent James Landale reports, there are some tricky issues ahead. From the days of Margaret Thatcher, Joe Biden has been no stranger to Britain, making it his business to know the Prime Ministers of the day, at least until now. For Boris Johnson has yet to meet the president-elect and the two men have their differences. Mr Biden's described the PM as a physical and emotional clone of Donald Trump. And as for Brexit... Had I been a member of parliament, had I been an, a British citizen, I would have voted against leaving. Views shaped in part by his ancestry. Mr Biden, a quick word for the BBC. The BBC, I'm Irish. He's made clear that peace in Northern Ireland should not become a casualty of Brexit, with a UK-US trade deal very much on the line, a warning repeated by allies. There are, of course, um, significant concerns um, here about how um, any um, departure arrangement, sort of final status between the UK and EU might impact the border in Northern Ireland. From Downing Street, the Prime Minister insisted the US was Britain's closest, most important ally, and there was a good chance of a trade deal. There is far more that unites the uh, government of this country and uh, government in, in Washington at any, any time, that, at any stage, than, than divides us. We have common values, we have common interests, we have a common uh, global perspective. There are issues where Mr Biden agrees with Mr Johnson, being tough on Russia, reviving the deal curbing Iran's nuclear programme, and agreeing new carbon reduction targets at a big climate summit in Britain next year. Above all, a president who supports multilateral organisations such as NATO, unlike his predecessor. But... The hard truth is that Britain outside the EU is less useful to Washington. And so when Joe Biden wants to influence Europe, he will go to Paris and Berlin, not London. There was a time when American presidents were so important to Britain that 160,000 people paid a few pounds to build a statue of one, like Franklin Roosevelt here. But those days are gone. Joe Biden's priorities will begin at home, fixing COVID and the economy. Allies, trade deals may have to take second place. So for now, a relationship not as special as once, but more predictable than of late, with perhaps fewer tweets. James Landell, BBC News.